guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the narcissist in Hoovering. I just want to give you a different perspective that you may not be considering when the narcissist attempts to Hoover us because a lot of times we will glamorize, we will sensationalize what's actually going on, okay? When the narcissist comes back, we want to believe maybe things will be different this time. Maybe they're coming back to make amends, to make things better. Maybe there's something caring or loving involved with this hoovering. And I'm sorry, guys, that is not what's going on. Instead of thinking that, I want you to consider every time that the narcissist is coming back to you, they're in the process of devaluing and discarding someone else. And they want to use you to make that happen. Especially if you already, if it's a Hoover, that means you already have history with them. So this new person, if you allow the narcissist back, when they see the narcissist, you know, hit them with that, because they're going to time it up. They're going to be hoovering you while they're discarding that other person and setting them up where they're devaluing, excuse me, the other person and setting them up for that ultimate discard. They're going to be love bombing you. And then bam, one day on Facebook, right after the narcissist discards the current primary source, bam, pictures with you are back up there again because you went in for that Hoover. So the narcissist is punishing the current primary source. Oh, there's the loud next door. Oh my gosh. I'm almost wanting to start this video over, but I think I'm gonna keep going. There's three women and sometimes women cackle. But anyhow, I digress. <laughs> Yes, um, you know, they're using you as a tool to punish the current primary source. And what they'll do sometimes is, oh, who's calling me? <laughs> All types of interruptions, this video, gosh. What they'll do oftentimes is they will bounce back and forth. If the narcissist has two really good primary sources and they are hooked on him, he will put you guys against each other and play off of that forever. And of course have sprinkles of other supplies, you know, that are lower down the totem pole. And that's how you see all this off and on. Because when he's off with you, he's on with her. When he's on with her, he's off, you know, it's back and forth. So every time the narcissist is in the process of hoovering someone else, they are also in the process of devaluing and discarding someone else. And they're hoping that you'll come and be a part of that. So, you know, I just want us to get out of these um, toxic cycles and our perception becomes reality. So, you know, we need to start thinking of these other angles because this is actually what's going on, guys. So we don't want to be getting used by people anymore. We want to be hip to the game. So I just wanted to give you this to think about, okay? So if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos quite frequently. I have a substantial playlist, guys. Go through it. Take what you can out of it. If you want personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I do offer it via the phone, via Skype, via email. That information is in the description. But just email coachlakia at gmail.com. I've written books, guys, to help people heal from toxic relationships. You can check those out on Amazon, the ebook, the hard copy, great reads full of so many pearls. All right, guys, and until next time, say no to those Hoovers and take care, guys.